Welcome everybody to this, the latest of our Ask the Expert videos. My name is Dave Pike, otherwise known as the Connector Geek. And here at Design Spark, we've talked a lot about the future of energy, whether it's for electric vehicles and e-mobility, or for the latest technologies that we're using to power our homes and our businesses. And for these, power connectors are vital. These applications rely on uh, the delivery of reliable power supplies, but also they need to ensure the safety of the operator. Amphenol is a name that if you've been involved in connectors for any amount of time, it should be a name that you'll be very familiar with. They have a long track record in manufacturing innovative connectivity solutions for all sorts of power applications. And they've developed a technology called RADSOC. Uh, to find out more about how RADSOC works, and the latest products in the Amphenol range that use them and how customers are employing these in the field. I am joined by Gigi D'Ambrosi, Amphenol's eMobility Business Development Manager. Thank you for joining me, Gigi. Thank you, Dave, for the invitation. Hello, everyone. No problem at all. Um, so at the heart of every power connector is the contact system. And let's start by talking about that and the RADSOC concept. What is RADSOC and how does it work? Yeah, you're right. So RADSOC uh, is a patent technology, first of all, that is the heart uh, of uh, any high power, high voltage termination in Amphenol. So RADSOC is uh, um, coming from a flat grid twisted into an hyperbolic geometry in order to form a socket contact with unique characteristics. The grid is made out of a cube allowed with a high precision stamping technology, let me say. And this is the heart of any connector and relative power system that we have in our portfolio. Okay, um, and we've talked about the construction of the RADSOC contact, the, the concept behind it. Um, but what are the advantages that this design gives when it comes to power connectors? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, the RADSOC termination has been designed uh, since more than 20 years. It's a patent technology, as I told, and has been uh, updated year by year following uh, a certain experience in, uh, in the design and the feedback coming from the market uh, out of Amphenol to improve this uh, termination, any version that has been uh, designed and put on, uh, on the connector system. In terms of benefits, the real key benefits of RATSOC respect any standard termination in the market is a uh, high reliability and durability, uh, respect uh, any standard contacts, uh, over the connection application, high current ratings, low mating uh, force, low contact resistance, that is a, an incredible key point uh, in some of uh, the application where RATSO is engaged to, low voltage drop, low temperature rise, small diameter um, self-cleaning uh, features, um, able to absorb vibration due to the cube grid and high contact coverage uh, up to 60% of uh, the contact area. Those are, let me say, the key benefits in few words uh, where the RATSOC is a king of uh, uh, any termination available in the market at the moment. And so you, you've mentioned that RADSOC's been around for some time. It's not a new technology, uh, but you've been using it. Amphenol's been using it in connectors for some time. Um, what established products use the RADSOC contact? Yeah, uh, that is a good question. Um, if, we, if we take uh, um, the overall uh, high hamperage, high voltage uh, products portfolio, that are designed specifically for a market segment that I represent as a business development director that is named as e-mobility market. So all um, the new energy, uh, the full electric or hybrid vehicle platform, 
the Razzoc is inside the 90% of the products that are involved in this kind of uh, application. So the Razzoc is a, a unique termination, as I mentioned, uh, that is used in any orange products, let me say, uh, related to high voltage uh, connection system. And, uh, and correctly said, has been upgraded patent by patent, design by design, till the latest version uh, that are available now in our connection system. And here we have an example that uh, the Ratsock is featured by, uh, that is named as the Sherlock Plus. Well, Sherlock Plus, this is the, the latest product in the family of RADSOC connectors. What more can you tell us about that as a solution? Yeah, the Sherlock Plus is uh, uh, an incredible uh, connection, uh, connection design. It um, has been uh, um, launched several years ago, almost 10 years ago, more or less. So we had uh, a lot of um, experience we collect a lot of uh, customer feedback across different kinds of applications. Um, the, one of the points of the Sherlock Plus uh, is uh, this connector has been uh, used in uh, uh, vehicle application, but also in the energy storage application, mainly involved into the DC um, connection for the battery pack. And uh, this uh, solution has been developed uh, as, as far as today in a different version or generation. Any of this generation brought different kind of uh, option and different kind of improvement. The latest one that we are used to name as uh, Shulok 2.5 version uh, present uh, connector solution up to 1,500 volt DC uh, up to 500 volt, uh, 500 amps uh, continuously uh, at 85 degrees Celsius. Uh, 150 uh, square millimeter is the upper limit of cable size. Different kind of uh, mechanical keyways uh, to avoid the mismating. Um, and a different characteristic able to bring over even IP67, IP6K, Nike, uh, waterproof condition. So this is giving to this uh, product series uh, an incredible flexibility to be designed, as I mentioned uh, earlier, um, into the powertrain system of uh, a new generation uh, for vehicles types, but even in a stationary application like energy storage. And uh, this is one of uh, the key points beside the electric characteristic of, uh, of the connector that is giving really, really to these uh, products um, a unique uh, performances uh, and uh, is uh, really, really flexible to be designed in any power system require these uh, require uh, specifications. And you mentioned energy storage there. Uh, we've talked to several people from Amphenol about power solutions. We've been talking about um, the, the battery themselves and the battery management system. And we've talked about other connectors that are used in these, but we, we, we're specifically talking about energy storage solutions. Are we talking about domestic energy storage, the things that we might use in our homes or in our business? No, I mean, not, not exactly. When, when we talk about storage, uh, we, we talk uh, um, mainly about the big storage, um, not, not only the domestic one, let me say, uh, but big storage, for example, close to a charging station. Usually close to charging station, it's possible to have uh, uh, some battery uh, for storage. Um, the, uh, the energy from the grid and then deliver uh, this energy to the electric vehicles uh, needed uh, to refill uh, the battery. And, uh, and, uh, and this is uh, 
one of the applications in which the battery are rack and panel um, design uh, and uh, uh, the Sherlock class uh, uh, is designed inside this battery for the DC plus and DC minus connection. Um, and uh, the fact that this connector is available with uh, a traditional uh, hexagonal crimp over a round cable or even integrated into a bus bar is increasing the possibility to use this connector for any kind of termination inside this uh, battery system. And one of the things that I touched on at the beginning of our conversation was safety. Um, and I know that, that some of the RADSOC products have uh, specific features to keep operators safe because we're talking about very high voltages and very high currents. What more can you tell me about how the Sherlock Plus is keeping operators safe? Yeah, exactly. Um, correct uh, um, argumentation. Um, really, really um, important, especially when we have uh, an orange uh, connection system that means uh, an high voltage application and high voltage connectivity. One of the features of our uh, products range uh, where the Sherlock Plus is included is uh, all, all our products are touch proof, so there are specific design able uh, to avoid. Uh, any, any, any finger proof or touch proof uh, of uh, determination. This is the first key element. And uh, the other important features uh, is uh, the Sherlock Plus uh, as an option is uh, designed with the high voltage interlock system that is able to give uh, security in terms of uh, connect and disconnect uh, in a safety mode. Uh, the mated pairs uh, of the connection system. Those are the main two elements uh, giving uh, um, these safety requirements uh, to any operator using uh, the Sherlock Plus connection. Okay, and I'm going to ask one more question because we've recently been talking about um, other types of e-mobility, specifically things like scooters and bikes that we might see around uh, around cities at the moment. Um, how is Amphenol developing products for this new generation of mobility devices? Yeah, um, I, I guess uh, uh, if we remain on on the Sherlock Plus line is a good example because the Sherlock Plus has uh, multiple product series that we have in our portfolio are able to cover from small needs of amperage. Uh, up to 500 amps, as I mentioned. That means uh, we are able to cover with different kind of termination sites from 3.6 millimeter up to 14 millimeter, any kind of needs. If we talk about light electric vehicles like uh, scooters, for example, they usually need really, really lower amperage respect uh, a heavy transportation system that could be a bus, could be a truck. So this uh, solution is uh, designed in different kind of format and different kind of sizes is giving to the mechanical designer and to the uh, electrics designer the possibility to select a different kind of option uh, based on uh, the final amperage output that uh, this connection system should survive with and uh, able to work with different kind of cable sizes. Um, and uh, this is why we consider Sherlock Plus and our products range really, really flexible. Uh, and the fact that uh, we develop uh, a really, really a wide range of uh, termination and wide range of uh, solution is giving the flexibility to cover from small amperage rating up to the biggest one. That is uh, how we consider our product development and uh, how we would like to approach the market, try to fulfill any kind of demand and uh, specifications. 
Well, that's really interesting. And I think it's important for our viewers to, to remember that when we're talking about electric vehicles, we're not just talking about domestic cars. We're not just talking about the family car that sits on the drive. The the drive towards electrification is, is happening at both ends of the market. We talked about buses and trucks. And then we're talking about uh, personal mobility devices, the scooters and bikes that we might see around cities, but also personal systems that people might use at home. And so the connectivity that we, we need to provide for all of these different devices will obviously change. Voltages differ, currents differ, depending upon the kind of performance you need out of the vehicle. So I think it's really important to remember that, that the connectors such as this that provide both the really high capacity that you need for these electric vehicles uh, charging the latest lithium ion batteries and at the same time providing the safety that we as consumers will need because these things aren't necessarily only going to be used by trained professionals we at home are having to deal with more and more of these high performance connectors and the kind of systems that we need for our own mobility so i think it's really important that the viewers remember Connectors are such a vital part of this system, not just, just to deliver the power, but also to ensure that, that users remain safe. If you need to know some more information about the Sherlock Plus or any of these Amphenol products that have the RADSOC concept at the very heart of their, their connector system, go to RS Web. RS Components has a range of Amphenol products that involve the RADSOC device that gives you that, that high contact surface area, that high capacity that power capability. Please go look there and have a look at some of the, the products that are available. Obviously, we have plenty of more information available here on DesignSpark. Um, and in the show notes, I'll add some links to some of the other Amphenol conversations that we've had recently around batteries and battery management, because those will be fascinating to view in conjunction with this conversation about connectors. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much, Gigi, for your help and for your in insight into this type of product. It's been great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. And I would like to thank uh, RS Components uh, for the opportunity to talk about our T-Mobility products range. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Gigi. And thank you to you for watching. Join us again for the next Ask the Expert, where we'll be addressing another area of technology and hopefully helping you out with your product selections. See you again soon.